Do you ever think what is beneath the oceans? How deep oceans looks like? And which type of creatures are found in deep oceans? In this video, you will know about what kind of life exists in deep oceans. In deep sea, tripod fish are an oddity that can be found this often found resting on the sea floor. Red tail fish, octopuses, and sea cucumbers are also well adapted to the intense pressure here. And the very deepest part of the ocean includes the ocean trenches. It extends from 6,000 meters to the very bottom of the Mariana Trench at 10,994 meters. Very little is known about the creatures that live at such depths. In 2018, scientists officially described a snailfish at 27,000 feet below sea level, the deepest living fish ever found. Surprisingly, in the bottom of the ocean, there are brine lakes, which often called the dead pools. It seems like an impossibility coming across a lake at the bottom of the ocean, but due to the chemical and physical properties of water, this is in fact a reality. Brine pools are generally toxic to marine animals. When fish and other animals wander into them, they can go into toxic shock or die. Many of the pools contain almost no oxygen and are far too slime for animals to survive. Some of the brine pools are completely lifeless. The Gulf of Mexico contains brine lakes as small as 1 meter across and up to 20 km long. These lakes are created by a process called salt tectonics, which refers to the movement of large salt deposits. Brine lakes are super salty pools of water that sit on the ocean floor. The extreme saltiness causes significantly denser water than the average ocean water. And like water and air, the two do not mix. The salt differences is so definitive that sitting above the brine lake, you can visibly see the lake's surface, even waves when the lake is disturbed. These brine lakes are a remnant of ancient seas that exist when dinosaurs roam on Earth. Many brine lakes have been discovered in the Gulf of Mexico. Millions of years ago, during the Jurassic period, a shallow sea existed where the Gulf of Mexico now sits. Cut off from the rest of the world's oceans, the sea slowly evaporated, leaving behind a layer of salt up to 5 miles deep in some locations. By the time the ocean returned to that region, sediment had covered the salt, isolating it from the seawater. Brine lakes are deadly for ocean creatures. The salt content is so high that creatures that fall in often die. Their carcass pickled and preserved serves as a warning of the toxic landscape below. Along with the Gulf of Mexico, brine lakes have been discovered in the Red Sea and off the coast of Antarctica. Whale falls occurs when a whale dies in surface waters and sinks to the bottom of the ocean. Trees, sharks and large fish can also fall to the sea floor and provide food. The sudden arrival of food prompts creatures from afar to congregate and feast on the fleshy carcass. Once the flesh has been stripped and consumed by the predators, bone eaters arrive so that not even the skeleton will remain. In the months and years after a whale fall, the site will become home and food source for millions of creatures. Underwater mountains, also known as sea mounds, are extinct volcanoes that rise thousands of meters on the seafloor. The active volcanoes release huge piles of molten lava that eventually turn into underwater mountains. At times, these mountains can also be seen above the surface of the water. Underwater mountain ranges from due to seafloor spreading, where tectonic plates in the ocean spread apart. As the plates spread apart, liquid magma is released into the ocean. As the magma cools, it forms enormous underwater mountain ranges. The Pacific Ocean has an underwater mountain near Hawaii called the Mauna Kea. It is more highest than the Mount Everest because when measured from its underwater base, it is about 10,200 meters in height. Deep beneath the ocean surface, towers spew scalding water from within Earth's crust. These are hydrothermal vents. Hydrothermal vents exist in volcanically active areas. Seawater makes its way through the cracks in the Earth's crust until it reaches hot magma. As the water heats, it absorbs metal like iron, zinc, copper, lead, and cobalt from the surrounding rocks. Hot water rises, carrying 
this minerals to the surface of the sea floor there it meets cool water and event that sparks chemical reaction and form solid deposits over time the deposits create towers forming the classic image of a hydrothermal vent animal life at a hydrothermal vent relies on the energy produced by symbiotic bacteria do you know the fact if you watch this video you are probably an ocean lover or in other words you are a thalassophile someone who loves the ocean as a thalassophile be happy and knowledgeable